Hey, Venetia's Cutesy Squad. So I want to tell you this story, right? So we, meaning me and my mom, went to the biggest garage sale, right? And we was scrolling past this person who was selling clothes, right? So he was in his car looking for more things, right, to put out to sell, right? So me and my mom browsed his little corner, you know? Where his stuff is and my mom was looking and it was two ladies was there before we even wait before we even went there right it was two other ladies there before we was there right so we looking at the stuff we my mom sees something in the other lady's hand and she's like oh to me um she have nice things in her hand when she's picking up right and I was like yeah okay you know so my mom always want to do this kind of thing you know and I'm gonna tell you what she always be doing she always don't want to mind her own business right this is what is gonna get her in trouble one day you know I keep telling her mind her own business when you're over here you know because you never know who you will like meet or like bump into or if you say something they will like react what you're saying right so my mom was like picking up some clothes and the lady was talking to the, the other lady right in Patar in Patwa you know and my mom don't know no she was talking in um I guess that you know and um my mom was like looking at different clothes right and the lady had things in her hand right and since the guy was in his car looking for more things to sell, the other lady left, right? And the la the man came back, and she's like, uh, my mom was like, how much is this, you know? And he's like, this and this price, right? I'm just going to say, it's like $3 for each, right? So she's like, the man's like, um, the man's like, what else you see? Pick it up, and I'll just give you a good price, right? So my mom was like, she saw that lady left with some of the stuff, right? My mom is kind of nosy, right? She want to pry in things, right? So she told the man, did the lady pay for the stuff? He's like, what lady? She's like, the lady was over here. Now there's only one lady over here now. He's like, no, she didn't pay for it. But I think she put it down. My mom was like, nah, she don't. I don't think she put it down. So the man's like, okay, where's the other lady? You know, he's trying to look out where the other lady went. You know, and of course the lady left. And I don't know if they was like trying to like steal things and try to get away with it. I'm not too sure. But he was like telling the other lady, what happened to your friend? You know, he's she's like, what friend? He's like the one who was right here talking to you just a while ago. You know, she's like, oh, she left. He's like, did she left with the stuff in her hand? He's like, she's like, no, she didn't. My mom was like, why are you lying? You know, she left with things in her hand. She's like, I know she didn't left with the stuff in her hand. You know, that's what she's trying to tell to the man, right? She finally paid for her thing. I think her thing was like three dollars. I mean, three. And then she picked up some more things. So it was maybe like eight dollars. So she paid for her stuff, right? And she's going to leave, right? And they left. Or she left and then um, my mom was like telling the man I think she left with some of your stuff you know the man was like I didn't see it right are you sure she left with the stuff she my mom was like yeah she did you know I saw it in her hand she had good things in her hand you know but she didn't want to put down you know so he's like are you sure my mom usually was like, my yeah. mom always it's like try to my, my mom she never want to learn how to mind her own business you know it's just her, you know. Some people will think that it's not her business. She shouldn't, like, pry into it, you know. Get into someone else's business, you know. But she tried to try not to do that, but she really do do it anyway. You know, if she sees someone stealing, she will actually say something, you know, to the person. You know, sometimes. I think she should just, like, mind her business because it's not her place to, like, else's business besides her own you know that's just me she took a lot of your stuff and left with it you know so my mom paid for her things you know and she was telling to me like did you saw that lady she left all the stuff you know and I was like mother don't pry into things you know don't like don't put your nose into things you know or like don't be nosy you know
So my mom was like, you know, she left all her stuff, right? And I was like, I know, but you don't want to cause trouble, you know, because you don't know if that lady had, like, she was not, you don't know if she was armed or anything like that, you know? You don't know if she had weapons, you know? You shouldn't be, like, saying some things to these people and you come here, like, a lot, you know? They will remember your face, you know, and do things, you know? Like, if you see something, just turn a blind eye, you know? If you see someone stealing, you know, and it's, like, in a public place, you don't know that kind of person, like, what they're thinking about, you know? They could be thinking about some other kind of stuff, you know, to hurt you, you know? Like, you shouldn't pry into something which you know you see something which you think is going to happen or what already happened, you know? So, I'm going to tell you this other part to this story, right? So, it was this guy, right? He was selling a lot of stuff, right? And this guy was selling... The guy was selling, um, I guess, he was selling a lot of stuff and some perfumes, right? So this guy, not trying to say anything about this race or anything like that, but it was this Haitian dude. He came up to the guy who was selling the perfumes. He's like, how much? The man was like, a dollar, right? No. The, the guy said it was like five or six dollars for one, you know? And he paid for one, um, for one perfume right and he told the guy can he have the box what the guy didn't know that the box contained a lot of perfumes so the guy who's selling the perfumes and the other stuff he thought it was just an empty box he was giving to the other guy right to the Haitian guy right so the Haitian guy left with all the perfumes meaning he stole all those perfumes and he only purchased he only purchased one perfume, right? So, apparently he stole and he's laughing as he's leaving, right? And I was like, my mom was over there buying more things, you know? I think she was buying, um, I don't know if it was a garage bag or a garage box. I don't remember. Or was she buying clothes? I can't remember what she was buying. But she was buying something. As soon as we done pay for our stuff, we left. I told the mom, my mom that... Did you saw what that guy did with the perfumes? She's like, what guy with the perfumes? I was like, you saw the guy who had the perfume in his hand and he said how much it was? She's like, yeah. You saw when he had that box in his hand? She's like, yeah. And I was like, that box, what he had, had a lot of perfumes, which he didn't pay for. So he stole it, right? And he was laughing as he's leaving, right? So the more of the story... Don't like, um, I guess, don't like, um, don't be nosy. Don't pry into something what is not like, um, the more is the story is, um, if you see something and you don't know the guy's intentions or the woman's intentions to like, um, like steal or something like that, and you see the person steal, don't stick your nose in there because you don't know if that person is armed or is going to do something after you snitch on the person. You don't know. So the moral is like, if you see something, tell the, the person who owns the things, but don't keep saying it to the point that the person is like looking at you and looking like they're going to follow you to your home or to your car or something like that, right? That's the moral of the story, right? So guys, like and subscribe to any notifications and I guess I see you later. Bye.